Good morning. Oh, this is the one I meant to turn on. Good morning, friends. Oh, that is still so high. I gotta can't. I almost can't wait till after my holiday redeems, just because this camera angle has too much. Oh, hi, Empress. Mm -hmm. Leaves too much void space up here. Although it doesn't let me show off the beautiful art that's back here. So, all by other artists. So, maybe I'll leave it, even though it feels weird to only be way down here. <laughs> Anyways, hi! Hi, friends. Hi, friends. <clears throat> we are going to work on uh, holiday pet portraits today. Um, my, this is my dad's dog, Yoda. Uh, he passed away earlier this year, so I am making um, a Christmas ornament of Yoda's face for my dad. Then you change the redeem your stream. You can. Oh no, no, it's fine. I like the redeem. It's just weird to have like my head so low down on the frame. That's all. <laughs> so yep, yeah, we're gonna work on a pet portrait today. We're gonna see how it works. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping that this turns out pretty decently. So he was a really small chihuahua too. Like he was like considered a uh, teacup, possibly micro teacup. Cause even when he was overweight, he was only like six pounds. <laughs> like he was a small dog when he was at his ideal weight, he was under five, which is I think what is, uh... oh, we have soot sprites on the loose. We have Empress flexing VIP commands. We have soot sprites on the list. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you before I got started today. I um, finished off the pendants that we were working on <clears throat> last stream, and I just uh, I pretty much just coated them in resin. Oh, that's that's not looking right. Yeah, let's get a good close up. Nope, wrong way. Oh look, kitty glitter. What else is new, right? So I kind of like the way they turned out, like the resin, it like leveled it, so you can't really see the various layers per se, but you can see just the subtle color differences in the layers of the mountains. And even though I tried to keep the shimmer off the mountains, there's a tiny bit on there and it kind of looks nice. So they turned out pretty good. And I just did resin on the back. So where do I buy that? Um. Well, eventually I will get a storefront set up. I'm trying desperately to get, um, like, a Kofi storefront set up, but, um, I'm not good at photography. That That's where my shortcoming is happening, is I'm still trying to figure out how to do, like, good jewelry staging for the photos. Um, and I've been playing around with my camera and I'm kind of getting better at it, but I'm still trying real hard to get good photos and that's kind of what's holding me back. Uh, but if you genuinely want one, just DM me and we can talk much like we did with your commission, so. <laughs> okay, bye, back soon, no problem. Hi, hi, I have to be muted. I'm working on practice problems for my new job. No problems, have fun. See you soon, Deb. just in case she's muted still. All right, so yeah, that's what we had worked on last stream and they turned out really nice. I like them a lot. I will definitely do something more of them in the future once I get, uh, like now that I've kind of got a hang on using them, they were just fun. So you just use white background or marble vinyl from the dollar store. Yeah, you know what, and I've thought about that, like, there are definitely some things, and we were talking about this yesterday, actually, in, um, Queen V Crafty's stream last night, um, like, um, working with light boxes and stuff like that, as well as, like, <clears throat> um, she was recommending, what is it, the one app that removes the background, and the AI in it is actually pretty good, I think it's called, like, Photo, uh, what was it called, I, I downloaded it to try it. I have not tried it yet, but I downloaded it to try it this weekend. Uh, photo room. So I've got a couple of things that I'm going to try doing and get a couple of things, but I'm, I'm trying to actually stage something that has, um, like I kind of want to have like a series of photos, um, where like I've got one where the jewelry is nicely staged and maybe then one where it's just close up and maybe without background or whatever the case may be. 
Um, so I'm kind of trying to figure it out, but so it looks really professional. Like that's kind of the direction that I'm trying to go is like a super polished professional look to like my store and stuff. Cause I want to get into doing like higher end, um, art shows and fairs and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I want, I kind of want my everything to like look the same kind of thing. So I'm trying to figure out how to really do that and it's taking me a lot, little bit of time to get it set up. But I was hoping to get a store set up so I could actually vend Christmas things and then that never happened, so. <laughs> you can also model it on your, yourself, just don't shut your face from the neck, or shoot your face from the neck down. Fair enough, like I, I don't think I would do that personally. Um, but, and I mean, maybe it's better because part of the problem is, is I don't have, um, like a shutter button for my camera. Um, so I still have to manually photo all of my photos, although maybe that would change, but that's also difficult to take photos on yourself. And I mean, I can probably play with that a little bit now that I've got the new camera, but again, sometimes that that's a pain in the ass, especially since I have to effectively take down my entire rig, take photos, and then put back my entire rig, <laughs> which, uh, let's say is, 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 uh, time consuming and frustrating. So, but I mean, I've got, I'm floating ideas and I'm getting it to look better. Um, and so I'm kind of, I'm happy about it so far in the direction I'm going. I'm just not ready to launch a storefront as much as I'm trying to. Um, but I'm trying to avoid Etsy. I think I might do something to what like Struble suggested and still have the Etsy store and have the items listed. Um, and I'm try I'll have to take a look around and see exactly how other artists do this. But you know, this like essentially the Etsy store price says this is the Etsy price. If you buy it here, it's less money. And essentially, you know, just funnel uh, traffic back to my own store. But we'll see what's gonna happen. All right. So let's try. I'm really nervous about this because I really want to do Yoda good. Because <laughs> th this was my dad's little buddy, and he is still very heartbroken. So let's see, let's try and get some started on here. All right, that's what I need, okay. <clears throat> it's hard to tell if it's in focus or not because it's like just weird and black. All right, I think that's pretty good. I'll fix it up once I start get working. Oh no, my kids fish. Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Alright. Got like a fleck of glitter or something. Where did that even come from? Yeah, I know. Oh. That's unfortunate. We've had I've had those kinds of things before because like we've had um, cats that passed away when little Hunter was younger. Um, plus, you know, Yoda passed away earlier this year. Um, my mother-in-law's dog actually just passed away recently as well, and we haven't broken that one to little Hunter yet. <laughs> um, I don't know why exactly Hunter hasn't gotten around to it, but he's he's not ready to break it to her. <clears throat> All right, let's try and figure this out. So I'm going to start with mostly like a ball of a head. I'm going to try and do it off the, the bit because there's a little texture on this. And if I work on it directly on here, um, it's going to like just gently push into the texture and then it'll never come out. It'll always be that light little bit and it's pain. So I'm just going to try and do at least the base part of the head off and then I'll move it on to what will be my background later. I've already uh, um, baked this. This is already cured um, just because I wanted to have a surface that wasn't going to end up um, distorting on me as I was working on it. All right. Oh, 
hard part of parenting, or one of one of the hard parts of parenting, <laughs> uh, trying to uh, figure out the right ways of explaining real life situations to a kid, right? Like, you can only shield them so much. Hello, Gremlin! How are you? Your hair is on point today. Nice. It got the anime waves and everything. Thank you very much. It's very rare that I really can get my hair to uh, behave. And yeah, it's looking pretty good today. Thank you. <sighs> Let's hope it stays that way. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. And then it's really got a smaller amount here. So I'll put the snout on separately. So I'm just gonna cut this off around here and try and shape the like head part. Is that big enough? I'm not sure that's big enough. That is not gonna be big enough. Not quite. James, he's got to appreciate the good hair days. Nice. Well, I also have the problem where my day job is, is that I'm a crossing guard. So twice a day, my head, all, all my hair just gets shoved under a baseball cap. And then at this time of year, also a toque. <laughs> so it is, it gets no life most of the time. So I pretty much, I come home from my morning shift, run upstairs, quickly refresh my hair. <laughs> get changed and then come down here get my everything set up and stream um, and then for my afternoon shift I have to do it all over again which is why I don't really stream in the evenings because my hair will never really look right again after the second happening not without a lot of work well I also don't stream in the evenings because you know I've got an eight-year-old that <laughs> requires a lot of my attention makes total sense maybe get one of those satin lined baseball caps I'm getting a satin lined beanie since it's cold AF now I can't I have to wear I um, live in a city where a crossing guard uniform are, are you crossing guards are uniformed um, and I have very specific uniform pieces that I I have to wear all right, so I think what I should probably do, and it'll help me figure out exactly where things are going. I'm actually very lucky. The city I live in um, takes crossing guarding very seriously. Um, most cities, it's like, here's your vest and your sign, go. Um, and they get paid minimum wage, and it's, it's practically a volunteer job. But the city I live in takes it very seriously. Um, the, the city of Niagara Falls is considered a certified wage or certified living wage employer. So I get paid a higher rate of pay. I mean, I'm still only working 10 hours a week, but I get paid work pretty fairly decently for only working 10 hours a week because my hourly wage is whatever the living wage is considered in um, the region. Um, and then that, whenever that fluctuates the following January, our wages get adjusted accordingly so the I'm gonna it, it so it works out really well like I don't actually ever get raises but I'm always getting cost of living increases so I can't complain about that one good land I bought um, and like they take uniforming very seriously as well yes hello marshmallow um, so we have like full uniforms they uh, we get like like the full heavy-duty work winter coats provided to us by the city um, um, so like, like these are like literally like $300 coats at retail price. So like the city takes pretty good luck, luck, the uh, help. I, thanks Locke. <laughs> I totally got dumb tied when you came in. Welcome in my friend. Hello. I'm sure you're quite glad to have tripped me out. <laughs> Good day, Kiki Crafty Spy, Agent Excel, Jesse Sloth, Struble, Kim, Nightbot, you cheating bitch, Wolf, that drop. 
Uh, Loda, lock, Yoda, Sooty, Up Potato, Fingers, Board, Stabby Things, Marshmallow, the other Stabby Thing. Yes, she is very stabby. She's quite interested sitting over here right now. And everyone else Lock has forgotten to mention by name. <laughs> Alright, so I need to figure out the eye placement, and I think that'll help me give me a good starting point of how I'm working. I chose specifically this reference photo to work on of him because he's right face on and I felt like that would help me figure out my placement better for me to kind of start sculpting towards. Because this is definitely a totally new thing. I've never sculpted a semi-realistic dog before, so... Okay, alrighty. Was that the command? It was. Yes! <laughs> okay, alright. Alright, so if this is top of head here, which clearly is not quite the right shape now that I'm sectioning this off, which is great. That's the kind of thing I need to figure out because this will be like flatter. Why is this still looking blurry? It's a little better. Okay. Um. Okay, so there's, this is like the ears, like where the ears will be, which of course is like a huge amount of this dog's head. This the right size though. I feel like I need to double check and see if this is still the right size. Uh, yeah, and then have snout here, body here a little bit, ears coming out. Okay, so that's pretty good because I still want to have room for a little bit of a, a, a frame, Maybe just slightly bigger. That's pretty good. And then... <clears throat> so this is where the snout will start to come down. This will get narrower, of course. And then... I'm just roughing this for now. This is not going to be the final shape at all, but I'm just kind of helping me figure this right down. Look at that! <laughs> she jumps straight down. She yeah, Nightbot has been doing that a lot lately. I thought you were going to image transfer to the clay. Um, I mean, though that is definitely a way of doing it, but I really wanted to at least for this one actually do a proper sculpt because it's my. I wanted to really put the work into it. Um, I have a lot of the stuff that I could do for image transfers. I'd have the problem is is I don't have easy access to. Um, a um, a laser printer, which is generally the easiest way to to do it. an image transfer. You don't need yeah. much else. <laughs> That's okay. He did it for himself as he came in and announced himself. Totally tripped me up. Um, welcome on in. Welcome back, Empress. Um, where was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, the image transfers. Um, it's just because it's I, it's a really important piece for me because you know of my dad. So I really wanted to try to try to do an actual sculpt. Um, oh yeah, and I don't have um, easy access to a laser printer. Like Hunter has one at the store, which I mean I could easily send him the things, but I don't have access like real time access to one. So. And, oh no, Mr. Force having a meltdown at the dentist, and I have a work thing, so back to work. No problem, Empress, thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Use it whenever you like. Twerk, lurk. Alright. Does that seem right? This doesn't seem quite right to me. 
Well, let's try and figure out where these eyes are gonna go. Figure it out, because the snout will start. Lower. Like the round of the snout, like this will blend up a little still. So that's ears. Eyes start roughly around here. And I mean, of course, Yoda has massive eyes. So yeah, like this part goes like right here to right where this, like the round of the snout would be, the muzzle, but it'll blend up this way around into the eyes. So I think that's roughly the right placement that we've got started. This will have to get sculpted out a little bit down here. We'll probably remove some of this clay as we get going. But I don't want to take too much out now because I don't know exactly what I'm going to need. I'm just going to flip this right underneath this nose for now. So, what I should probably do is make some eyes as well. I don't think I want to use the glass eyes on this. I think that might look too weird. And I'm not sure I have them the right size. So I can make a size. Hi, Sun Cup! Welcome in! Um... I'm making a pet portrait of my dad's late dog right now, and I'm, I'm really hoping I do a good job of it. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, all right, so I'm going to try and make some eyes. I'm going to get some black and some brown. I'm gonna turn on the clay oven because uh, I'm gonna have to bake these so they are too solid when I um, put them in. up it's probably gonna turn off on me again before I even get started but we'll see how it goes pretty good today Sun Cup how are you I have uh, had a pretty nice morning the weather is nice it's not too cold it's actually gonna be like seven eight degrees this afternoon all right let's make some very large do uh, dark dog eyes How big are these eyes going to be? Because his, I mean, clearly his eyes are his, like, entire face. <laughs> his entire face. Okay. I'm just roughing these for right now because I'm um, just trying to get sizing something close to being right. I'm going to blend up. Actually, you know what? I need to darken this color. 
his the brown of his eyes is much darker than this. Can you send me a message on Insta and you react to it on stream? <laughs> All right, sure. We will try this just once. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Okay, hold on. Let me... No, not there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. hide that part. How do I hide this part? All right, well, we're just going to load this so that hides that. Uh, no audio. That Leonard Cohen song, Hallelujah, the one that goes like, Well, I heard there was a secret call that David played in a police song. Well, most people don't realize that this wasn't just a pretty little piece of linguistic lingo. This is actually in reference to a real chord. And the reason that he refers to it as the secret chord is because it was illegal to play pretty much everywhere in the world until the year 1987. It's called the double R chord, and today I'm going to show you how to play it. Okay, now watch very carefully. With your left pinky starting on A, you're going to put your hands just like this, and then... Yep. That's what happens. <laughs> Remember the very first line from that Leonard Cohen song? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I did not mean to accidentally hit the stream ending, but somehow that was fitting. Okay. All right. And I'm laughing here because I'm trying real hard going like there isn't anything like that that was illegal for that period of time. And my brain is like totally going to like the South Park episode where they did the brown noise. Because of course I my brain is filled with poop humor. And like <laughs> that's the best possible response. End the stream. Just end the stream. No. Nope. Marshmallow. She is like running around and attacking the um, end of the electrical cord for the space heater. Like it's not plugged in. She's attacking the plug. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So that's a nice uh, more deeper brown since I added a little black in. I, I was so invested in that suddenly, right? Right? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, hey, we're doing pretty good. We just got Rickrolled. How are you doing today, Agent? Need to go to a meeting. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for playing along. No problem, Empress. Oh, uh, yes. The things we do for VIPs. <laughs> All right, let's, let's try to make some eyes. Enjoy your work, Lurk. Ooh, nice land. Very rigged for the streamer. I like it. Too big. Way too big. Way too big. Oh, the mating does not make you pull out your mate. Be quiet and full of donuts. I think it's a remote meeting, so it might be quiet. It probably won't be full of donuts. Unless she has her own donuts. I mean, that's pretty nice. Bring your own donuts to a meeting. Um, that's probably close. 
might be a little too big. I mean, it's going to get smaller as I, like, actually sculpt around the eyes. You're not going to see the full size of this, but I think you're going to make it slightly smaller. Just slightly. And I'm actually, ooh, I've got a great idea. under my desk you know how you lose things and you're not totally sure where they are and you think you know where they are the thing I think I need is uh, lost under my desk I think um, my uh, one of my resin molds that is half spheres yes it is mm, don't know if it's big enough though all right, let me see if I have another resin mold with bigger spheres that are the right size. I think I've got, don't have any that are quite right. They're all either going to be too big or too small. Yeah, that's too big. Those are too small. All right, so I'm just going to have to wing it. I'm going to use this one to kind of get the dome shape, but it's not quite the right size. So, but it'll be a good working point. Why are we losing so many frames all of a sudden? That's kind of crappy. Stream started okay. Now it's a mess. Bad twitch. Bad. molds haven't been for used for so long that like there's just like dust and hair all sticking to them which for this project isn't too big of a deal but you know I'm upset about the new discord interface on Android and consider it a personal insult that they changed the color of dark mode oh I haven't even looked yet um, I mean my mine may not have updated yet but That works out pretty good. And pretty close to the right size. I think I might need to make it a little smaller still. But I also have to remember, jokes aside, the new color hurts my brain. Oh no, that's not good. I'll probably have to, when I get hit with the update, I'm sure I will shortly. I'll take a look. I always find it hard like, it's going to be weird going back and forth, because right now they're mostly the same between my, bra like my computer one, um, like the computer program of it, and the app, so it'll be weird if they're too different when I have to switch back and forth between them. Right, especially for people using both. Yeah, like you'd, you'd expect that you'd want it to have like a consistency between the two of them. All right. So now what do I need to do is remove some of the center here. Where is my round one? It's not like I'll be getting used to it. Yeah, fair enough. Where's the bigger round ones? Poop. I must be missing a tool because I know I've got... Oh, is that it? That's it. Okay. <clears throat> so 
clear out some of the center. put in some black. It's also now an extra click to go from a DM to a server and I can't sim on the menu while waiting for my friend to respond. Oh, that sucks. Okay, all right, yes, I like this. So now what I'm gonna do, now that I've got it in there, is I'm gonna put it back into here and get the dome shape back. afterwards because they will need to go into the oven to bake. There we go. One doggy eye. That's good. Those look pretty close to the same size. note wool is still a fantastic material uh -huh. oh sorry I missed some of that hold on <clears throat> right especially for people using both it's not oh sorry I did read those things I didn't miss anything <laughs> 
I pulled out my uh, old scout campfire cloak of storage, removed everything. I never got around to sewing onto it and given it a wash. Ooh, nice. Oh no, that got distorted. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I ever had a wool cloak from my time in Girl Guides. We didn't really have cloaks and stuff like that. We just had our basic uniforms. We didn't, I didn't, I didn't get into all the camping and all the outdoor stuff. I went on like the annual camping trip like twice, but aside from that, I was never really into it. Alright, so I'm going to go throw these in the oven. <clears throat> I can be lazy about dressing again. Nice. Um, yeah, I usually am, like, not particularly, um, unlazy at getting dressed myself. It's like, okay, look at these sweatpants. Oh, that's a nice t-shirt, and I'm done. Throw on one of these, you know, three or four cardigan sweaters that I, like, live in, and I'm done. <laughs> and to bake. All right. <clears throat> I love the summer when all I have to do to get dressed is like throw on one of my like long maxi dresses and like, that's it, I'm done, yay! Everybody's like, ooh, cute sundress. I'm like, thanks, I didn't have to think about what I was wearing. <laughs> I mean, I don't actually say that to people, but there is a part of me who's like, this is the laziest thing I could have put on today. <laughs> All right. So let's try to shore up this snout a little bit while we're working, while we're waiting here. I think it might be a Norwegian scout thing. Every group here has a style for theirs. They're typically plain wool fabric with some edges and the group designation on somewhere. Ours is plain gray, big poncho. Oh, cool. I think I've seen scout elsewhere do ponchos. Um, and I mean, it makes sense when you're in a place that gets much colder than other places. Like it would make sense that that's kind of a scouting thing places there. <clears throat> that being said, there might be places even here in Canada that do that that I'm not familiar with. To be honest, I, I never did scouts. I did girl guides. Um, which is uh, very similar, but still run very differently than the scouts at the time. They're now more or less interchangeable, but... Not quite. So my problem with this is foreshortening is a tricky thing for me, um, which is effectively like the art skill that I need, I'm trying to do right now. It's that whole idea where you're trying to show the perspective without it being in full perspective or like full 3d. And that's tricky for me. Um, because of my aphantasia, I don't visualize things. I struggle to make those kinds of connections, um, in going from 2d to 3d. But I'm going to try real hard because this is an important piece for me. And even if it doesn't turn out exactly as planned, I think my dad will still really appreciate it.
and his like little nose will be like here-ish. Right? Because there's still muzzle under here. I think this is a little broader. We only really used them for camps once the other groups were around two. I don't recall everyone ever bringing one in and still look good. Or sorry, wait, what? Ever bringing one in for the trips we did. Okay, fair enough. I am the process of sewing myself a really cool bathrobe that I can go outside so I can be super lazy, efficient, and still look good. Excellent, that's fun. My, um, no, no, that was my fault. I just, my brain didn't. <laughs> yeah, ever, uh, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Yeah, I did miss some stuff, okay. Summer clothes is much easier, yes. Lock every day when outside of work clothes or whatever he wears to leave the house and go shopping, he stays to sleep where, yeah. Sounds pretty good. By the like end of the evening at campfire, it's chilly even in the middle of summer. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Right. So this needs to, I think, have a little bit more volume over here on the side. It amuses me that dresses are seen as trying or dressing up like they like I threw on this sack over my head so I wouldn't have to wear pants. Oh yeah, that is totally me in sundresses in the summer. Exactly, like 100%. Like thank you for complimenting me on how good I look for being totally lazy. might be a little too fat. Let me just... get a guide eye going for me for a second. Unfortunately, I have outgrown all of my all-purpose dresses recently. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, here is hoping you can uh, replenish. for reference sake just so I can try and get eye placement and things and head size accurate. So these eyes are pretty much going right up to the edge of his head. And even a little outside of 
No, that'll be right about right, right there. Okay. So yeah, his head is a little big yet. Let's narrow the sides down. So that's about there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Um, yeah, I want to wear more tunics, but no one ever seems to sell good ones. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I do most of my shopping these days at the thrift shop as well it's become like my new favorite thing so <laughs> it's even harder to find cool stuff like tunics all right give me one second i've got to get the eyes out of the um always done that. I've been broke forever. Fair enough, right? It's not even totally about being broke. I can't deny the fact that that is part of it. <laughs> but um, I'm also trying to be more environmentally friendly and buy into the commercialism of fast fashion a lot less. Um, so between the, the brokenness and the, you know, environmentally conscious anti or uh, anti what's the word i'm thinking of anti capitalistic kiki things here <laughs> all right so here we go we have eyes these might be a smidge too big i might have to try actually you know what i'm going to leave them because they are still going to get covered up event like with at least partially with uh clay as we build the eyes up over it so I'm not gonna worry too much that the eyes are tiny bit too big cuz I think we can make it work eventually anyways oh, hey welcome back to him uh, but at least it doesn't leave one at the mercy of whatever the fashion industry had to decide we look like the next season exactly right Chatter! Chatter BKZ! Thank you! Welcome on in! Thank you for the follow! Put eyelids on them and they should be perfect. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, they're, I'm definitely building an eye around this. It's not just like, oh my god, look at, like, this is like one shot chihuahua right now. <laughs> alright, alright, let's... Let's try. Oh, thank you for the bits! Welcome on in! What a way to say hello! Suddenly, bits. <laughs> oh, thank you! That's so sweet of you, friend! Oh yeah, Deb, this is your first official stream as mod! Or like, you know, actual full stream, considering we just kind of randomly did it in the middle of the stream last, day, last time. Have to remember, I actually have a mod here. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh wait, Locke's also here. <laughs> totally don't even remember my mods are here. Okay, I, I have to admit, that one was more shade than forgetting you were here. Aw, oh, Chatter, thank you so much! <laughs> even more bit love! Oh my gosh, you were so sweet! Thank you so much, friend! That's so generous of you! What are you up to today, Chatter? Also, just a heads up, we do have an ad about to roll. Uh, we are going to go and have a Levensies. I'm going to go make some tea and use the restroom. And we will be back after that. Have a good one. See you in a few.
All right, we are back, friends. Hi, Struble. Welcome on in. Hello, y'all. I'm at co-working space today, and we've no power. Oof. Oh, no. That's unfortunately. Uh, Chatter, just passing through to follow and support smaller streams. Now I go to go to go tiger and bounce. Oh, that was so sweet. What a sweet bean. <clears throat> Y'all, Trevor died strawberries dipped in sour cream. Ooh. No, I haven't. Alright. I, I don't know. Would that be good? Like, I'm not a... Like, I like strawberries, but I'm not a super huge fan because I don't like tart anything. So the strawberries have to be really, really sweet for me to really like them. It was on a Daisy Sour Cream commercial. Oh, okay. You did, you did mod. You was so good. Tip is good mod. <laughs> oh, good job. Yes, thank you very much for the shout out. That was excellent. Flex your mod powers, friends. Great mod, great mod. Let's try. That, that feels pretty good. Eight. Eight of you? Wow! Who do you mod for? I know there's me and Struble. I don't know who else there is beyond that. I'll just follow Deb around and get her a hard time. <laughs> Oh, yes, the best way to show your friends you love them, to harass them wherever they go. <laughs> Just like Locke, we harass out of love. So I don't really need much more volume up here along the snout, so I want to try to blend this in up this way around the eye. A little bit more than right around here. Kim Struble, uh, Veil of Aaron, Dizma Draws. Gaming with Mandy, Mizmon Gaming, and Omom. Um. Cool. I have not actually tuned into a lot of them. I will have to keep an eye out for some of those. I'm going to look those up later. Hold up. Is that what I typed? Yes. Oh, look those up later. <laughs> You're missing two on your list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, on the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, um, um. Oh, um, um is not actually a streamer. I thought um, um might actually be a streamer. <laughs> I'm assuming there's, I think there is um, a setting somewhere that tells you where you have mod access to, like lists it. But I can't look at where that is right now. There we 
we go. We're starting to look like, like Yoda. That makes sense when you're such a, a, a book nut, right? <sighs> I don't really want to work today. Oh, I know that feeling. It's Friday, and it's hard. I mean, I can't complain too much. My day job is a crossing guard. I only work for two hours a day. This is the rest of my day job, so... <laughs> Bullshit, Deb. Don't talk to my friend that way. Yes, you're right. That is correct, Empress. Thank you very much. We definitely need a command for that. We need a like a be nice to my friend command. Um, where is notebooks? Where is where is notebooks? And that will be an everyone command. That clearly will not be. The list is on the Twitch desktop, which I don't have access to currently. Fair enough. Fair enough. I do, yeah, I don't even know what... Yeah, mobile is so restricted. It's not not cool. Um, my ever-growing to-do list. Too many things on there. You can't even see... I can't show you this list because there's a... Uh, before Christmas surprise on there of a redeem I'm gonna do, so <laughs> I had to keep it off camera. I have plans for a fun redeem that I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be intense, so I'm only doing it for like the week before Christmas, or maybe even just the stream before Christmas. I'm gonna make a fool of myself for you, fee for you fam. <laughs> Look forward to it. The House of Aries. There we go. Our heirs? House of Aries. House of Aries. Nice. I am glad you have recalled all of your streamers. That is really cool. I had no idea you modded so much. <laughs> there ain't found them. That's seven too many. <laughs> well... I hope I hope you feel that modding here is not particularly stressful because this is uh, uh, pretty chill and for the most part I'm cool to do most of it on my own. So I believe he, I believe he pronounces it airs. Fair enough. There we go. Alright. And then... Yes. A little smaller. It's actually, I think, the bottom that needs to come up a little more. A little, not a lot, but yes. The best part is, typically, there's little to no overlap. Well, that's excellent. Please be aware that I never may want you to feel obligated to be here if you are doing something else, modding for someone else, working, etc. That, I mean, that whole working part is the main reason I have never asked Empress or Agent to, to mod. They are quite welcome to mod if they want to, but they're working, so I never want to put that on them. <clears throat> So please never feel like you are obligated to. I'm not any, I'm no big professional channel that really needs <laughs> mods to, to, to function, so. 
I a still little baby streamer. Well, they miss me, of course, but there are, are other mods who are there. Fair enough. A lot of them have a team of a bunch, so if I'm not there, they don't miss me. That's good. That's good. I have zero issues blowing Kiki off when my brain finds something it likes at work. <laughs> Fair enough. I know you love me. <laughs> that sounded conceited. That was not what I meant. But, I mean, you have been quite clear and open about your affection for your streamer friend Kiki, so... <laughs> All right, let's let's fix the eye where this line this this comes up to just a little. Come on, come on, fingers up. Work with me. I don't even have like an app that I can blame. This is totally my hands that is the problem. There we go. That's a little better. I know, blame it on the finger cots, right? I wish I could. Um, your time will come. <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry, I'm titrating my Zoloft down and the filtering isn't great right now. No problem. Do what you need to do. Um, can you imagine uh, the, a BS Procreate command here? I know, right? Like, <laughs> I can't even blame Procreate. Uh, Brandlin on the finger cuts. There we go. <laughs> P.S. Procreate what? I missed something because people were talking. Oh, I was just saying that I'm like, I can't even blame it on an app because I don't have one. Like, you know, like Brenda and Grey Deuce with, um, Procreate. I don't even have the ability to, like, blame it on something else. It's totally just my fingers and me. <laughs> That looks pretty good. I like that. All right, we need to move the eyelid up on the other eyelid a little too. Chihuahua eyes are funny, especially this Chihuahua. Like I know most Chihuahuas aren't quite as a. Uh, big, bulgy, tiny-eyed as this one is. Oh, I'm a snow globe! We're gonna put me in a snow globe! I keep forgetting to, well, not forgetting to, I keep not having enough time to actually, oh, get fucked up and, like, buried in the snow. I am buried in the snow. Thank you for putting me in a snow globe, eh? <laughs> I think... <laughs> you guys are funny. Here. Here, I'll do it for you. Where is it? There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Go 
member to the rescue. Yeah, the joys of having your alt account sitting around, right? I mean, I could have put them on anyways for funsies, but whatevs. Oh, I'm totally getting in the way of the camera today. <laughs> Problem. Well, this one has ears. My other one doesn't have ears, eh? I just realized that one. This one doesn't have ears. I'm just blocking it too much with. Is that what's going on? <laughs> Thank you. Your antlers are getting in the way. Oh no! <laughs> I'll try not to lean in too much. <laughs> I should be getting soon and I'm very excited about it and I'm going to use it to schedule like plans and stuff. I should be getting my uh, CalPals calendar soon. Sorry. You're fine. Hunter's out in the hallway making noise. As long as you aren't getting in the antlers, then it's all good. <laughs> now Kiki is out of frame. Oh, goodness. I'm laughing so hard, Hunter. <laughs> he, does, he does bring some very good comedic, uh, com comedic relief to the stream. I feel like this one came up a little too much. Empress and Dan both say hello. Hello! <laughs> and hello! It is getting crowded in the snow globe. I've been banished! <laughs> He's not been banished. He's going to work. <laughs> also, I do not currently need a beverage. I just got my, my tea at 11 Z, so I'm good.
Bye bye, banished hunter. I need a bigger snow globe. It's true. I do need a bigger snow globe. have to try to convince Hunter to actually join me on a stream one day. Like, actually join me on a stream. I don't, I don't know what we would do, or why, but, um, it would be fun and funny. Okay. Alright, our, we are good. We've had our five minutes of holiday fun. There we go. Alright. Yes, please. Alright, I'll see what I can do to convince Hunter to join me, like, the next time Little Hunter's out of town or something. <laughs> and he's not working. There's the hard part, is finding a time when he's, uh, not working. Does his best, I'll be one impression. That's Snow Globe. That's Express Station. Oh, that's Snow Globe. That's a Express Station. <laughs> You're funny. Yoda was such a sweet dog, too. Like, he loved snuggles, and he would, like, just lick your face. I still don't see a chihuahua yet. It's getting there. It looks, oh my god, you know what it looks like right now? Hello, Sun Cup! This, uh, it takes an awful long time to make several detours to bring someone breakfast. Oh, no. <laughs> um... Might be an idiot, but doesn't care. That's okay, Locke. We love you that way. <clears throat> it's an alien skull. What it looks like to me, dentist appointment update, no problem, um, is it looks like, um, did anybody else remember, um, Rocco's Modern Life? It was, I think it might have been, like, an MTV, um, cartoon and it was like the wombat he was a wombat and he wore a Hawaiian shirt this looks like Rocco <laughs> that's what this looks like so far it looks like Rocco <laughs> was it Nickelodeon? okay uh, but that's what we're looking at so far it looks like Rocco Rocco's Modern Life. Yes, hello, Marshmallow. Hopefully we look less like Rocco and more like Yoda by the end of this sculpt. Because I don't want to give my dad a... Uh, um, yes, Locke remembers Rocco. <laughs> um, I do not want to give my dad a very bad looking ornament. I want this to look mostly like his dog. Like, I want to make sure that this is recognizably Yoda and not just something I sculpted. Alright, that's gonna be wider. It's gonna be much wider. And half of us just aged ourselves and that's okay. You know what? I think we've all aged ourselves, the fact that we all hang out together. <laughs> we all get it. I'd be really surprised if young people came in here hanging out. <laughs> Except for Little Hunter. Little Hunter doesn't count. <laughs> Clearly. It's fine, Slothlock. Still more ancient than y'all. <laughs> well, to be fair, none of us know how old you are, Locke, so... 
I've always just assumed you were somewhere in the realm of my own age as well, so... <laughs> Turns 47 next month. Fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's not that old. Um, don't even you young whip... <laughs> don't even you young whippersnappers, you shakes fist in general direction and far side of the globe. I have a rough idea of Agent's age to know that Agent is probably the oldest. <laughs> Other than that, I am not going to divulge any information. <laughs> Alright. Seems about right. I think this eye needs to come down a little bit more on this side. Uh, you more ancient than ancient Locke, poor agent. <laughs> your, may your health age not be as ancient as Locke's. Oh yeah, my health age is definitely much older than the 41 year old I am, so I feel that one. I have a tire digit to start my years than Locke is. <laughs> Sadly, health age is at least real age, but actually a bit higher. Dang it. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> health age makes Kiki much older than 40. I'm trying to change that, but, uh, not so great right now. I've gotten to the age where it's taking too much work to keep me to feel mostly healthy. <laughs> I have to get back into doing yoga, yoga again. I had been doing some yoga for a while, and it was really helping with my hips and stuff. Um... But then I got really sick, and bending over was pretty much impossible. And I haven't gotten back into it yet, so I'm working on it. Clearly I'm still going to be working on this project next week because it's not going to get finished up all at once, although I probably will do some offline work on it, but I'm sure I'll still need to, to do some work on it next week. Um, I'm still going to work on Eevee on Monday next week, but then um, at some point next week we'll work on Yoda again, probably Wednesday. Um, did I miss anything? No, okay. I am proud of my 36 years, not to sound morbid, but with my disability, it's always amazing when I see another year. I am very pleased and happy that you have made it to 36 years and years to many more. Speaking of age, Locke, man, a little, 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 speaking of age, made Locke want to do a joke about already being in the ground, but that just reminded Locke of a dumbass joke he thought up this morning. Buckle up, folks, though you've got time. Locke's got a long-winded junk joke to write up and then share. Okay. We're looking forward to it, Locke. You've got an hour and a half. Hopefully you can type it up faster than that. <laughs> I'm sure you can. I think part of what I need is I think it needs to come up 
up here just a little more. Just here where I need a little bit. Yeah, that helps. Okay. Shit, I better start typing fast. <laughs> oh, still deluding. Still, still deleting to make comments. <laughs> You're wasting valuable time. Yeah, stop, stop, right? <laughs> well, he might be typing elsewhere too, right? And then you copy and paste. I'm pretty sure Locke is at a computer, so Locke would probably have access to writing in an alternate program until he's ready to copy and paste said joke. Alright, I like it. Trying typing it up in notepad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because character limits, right? Yep. Yeah. And just have to make sure you copy and paste it in two bits because I don't want it to delete it on you before you even get it in. Alright. Is that about the right shape? Yes, I think so. Okay. I think it'll look a lot more like Yoda once I get the ears on, but I'm already making good progress. Like, I feel like it's, I'll be able to get it there. I mean, I clearly still have a bunch of details to put on, like the wrinkles under the eyes and stuff like that, but we're getting there. <clears throat> While Locke writes, Mr. Four, had a terrible appointment. Oh no, he's decided he's afraid of the dentist cleaning his teeth. He did great with the x-rays, but they had to hold him down for the cleaning. And while I hate that it had to happen, the other option is that he gets to decide he doesn't want to do the hygiene, health hygiene thing and gets to walk away. Nope. Yeah, right? Like, that's one of those things where, like, you don't want to traumatize your kids, but there are some things that are just necessary. Thankfully, Lil Hunter has never had an aversion to the dentist. <clears throat> our, our dentist was really good with kids. We've got a new dentist. Like, we're still in the same dental office. But I'm pretty sure my dentist sold his practice because I never see him there anymore. And there's, like, two or three other dentists around. G4 did great at his first dental at 2.5. He's my nephew. Oh, okay, cool. Two and a half? That's pretty tough. That's a pretty early age, too. Like, that's it's good that they, he did well at that age. But sometimes you almost have to introduce them at that age. But hygienists even said this is normal around this age. They start talking to each other to pick up fear from media. Oh, yeah, absolutely, right? The amount of things that Little Hunter is dramatic about because they've watched it on YouTube and would have otherwise or even weren't dramatic about it before is just amazing because my kid, oh my god, I love them, but they are the most dramatic ever. <laughs> Yeah, every of the other times he's been there, yeah, fair enough. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Draw me as a drama king, is he? Yeah. Yeah, I feel that one. Little Hunter is such a drama queen. Sorry, drama queen. He thinks queens are cooler than kings. <laughs> nice! Excellent! I gotta love that you use Mr. Four and Miss One. It's adorable. It is adorable. He's watched Mom and Daddy, plus their dentist is their friend, so he's familiar with them. Oh, that helps. That helps a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. A just crown. That's because we are. There you go. <laughs> nice. We are all kings and queens. Are you all buckled up nice and tight? Yes. Yes, we are, Locke. We are buckled in. I should add that queen to the end of my... So, yeah, your name. Absolutely. Locke takes you all to the world of DC Comics, but this is Locke's version, where many superhero has succumbed to the zombie apocalypse. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's scrolling on me. Okay. Locke has decided to... Stop scrolling! Okay, I'm gonna do this over here, and maybe this one will stop scrolling on me. Okay. Locke has decided to open a nightclub for all the villains of the DC Universe to hide from the pursuit of the annoyingly overpowered alien that hides behind glasses. Because the club is always full of supervillains hiding away, it doesn't get too many regular customers, so most nights it's dead. But like all the zombie zero superheroes outside, but that's okay, because all the villains are loaded with their ill-gotten gains from their day's adventures, so Locke's making a killing. But because the club is usually dead, Locke's called it the Crypt. One night, Lex Luthor decides to stay at the club, but he's still super, still super worried that his arch nemesis, Zombie Superman, is going to hunt him down. <clears throat> Lex, are you sure that Zombie Superman isn't going to come after come after me here? Locke, relax. There's no way Zombie Superman is coming anywhere near the crypt tonight. Oh, but a bum. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Also, a good response, Empress. <laughs> Okay, 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 and then, right, 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 um, actually, I'm, I use a seatbelt in my wheelchair, fair enough, <laughs> nice, you actually buckled up your seatbelt, that's great. <laughs> oh, thank you for the groan and giggle luck, we appreciate it. I should have, I should have, um, been in my dad joke scene for reading that. I should have thought ahead.
Still looking a little like Rocco, but also looking more like my dad's dog every minute. <laughs> Like, I think once I get the ears on, it'll actually genuinely look like my dad's dog, but... Ears are clearly gonna be a while yet before we get to those. Dad joke. What's okay? Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. There we go. We'll. We'll do this. Oh man, I can really need to fix this camera. It's driving me bonkers. Just a little bit down. Okay, that's better enough. Okay. All right. What's a rock group that doesn't sing? a rock group that doesn't think. I'm trying to think of if I know this one. I probably do. But I can't think of it off the top of my head. <laughs> Hello, Nightbot. At least you didn't go straight down this time. Like, Nightbot has been cheating hardcore. Mount Rushmore. That is a rock that does not sing. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Alright. <laughs> I remembered to go to the scene for it, at least. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I told you all the one about the shark ordering McDonald's, didn't I? I think so. I don't remember the punchline of it, so feel free to tell it again if you would like, but I think so. I'm gonna try and clean up the eyes. They're getting a little bit of crossover. Uh, like, they're getting a little bit of the clay into the texture of the eyes. So, I'm gonna try to clean up a little bit just to try to avoid it getting worse as we keep working on it. What does a shark order at our order from McDonald's? A quarter flounder with cheese. Oh, but um bum. Which I only fake did because my hands were full. <laughs> Kimba Dumptis. Let me check this out. Yay! 
Yeah, you can. You absolutely can. So you guys can, uh, I forgot that you guys can do those too. You can do the commands and they'll work for you guys. Mm. Uh, Locke was at a frat party once and his mate asked him to go grab some drinks after he's gone to, uh, after he'd gone to take a nature break, but Locke returned without any drinks. And I guess you could say Locke forgot the punchline. Oh, but um bum Like reuse like kids medicine cups all like the medicine cups from when we get all like the children's Tylenol and stuff like that So you know what I did yesterday? I manifested a Jeep. I can manifest vehicles now. Not to like any real benefit, but for funsies. Um, we play this little game when we're out in the car, um, me and little Hunter, where we see what color Jeeps we can find. Um, and we try to, like, complete the rainbow. And it started because, like, Little Hunter would, when they were, like, doing car trips, they would, like, look for various cars of the colors of the rainbow to try to complete them. And that was, like, the, the game that they played. And eventually it turned into us because, I mean, it's an easily recognizable vehicle. Eventually that evolved into us trying to find jeeps of these colors because that was like the hard mode Was to find all the jeeps So yesterday hunter and I were Out running errands and it was a very jeep busy day. We saw like All of the colors except for yellow it was the only one like there's a good couple of jeeps that are in like live in my neighborhood oh, People that have jeeps that live in my neighborhood so I know I can always find a couple of the colors easily, um, but yellow is one that's hard. And I'm like, I know there's one that lives in the city, and we see it every now and again, but it's pretty rare. But having seen, like, everything else yesterday, or like, oh, all we need is a yellow. And um, we didn't see it while we were out and about running our errands, so I go off to my afternoon shift. And I'm walking to work, because it's like a five minute walk to my post. And I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if when Hunter comes out to pick up little Hunter, and he's walking, if wouldn't it be hilarious if as he's walking and coming up, we both see this yellow Jeep together? And I mean, whatever. I It was clearly not going to happen. But then, as... Hunter is picking up little Hunter and they're like walking out of this um, the school field and like they're coming towards me where my corner is a Yellow Jeep pulls up into my intersection and I'm just trying not to laugh hysterically because I can see Hunter coming and He's got this stupid excited look on his face <laughs> Like running towards my corner <laughs> Because he saw the Jeep too and it was just, like, one of those, like, ridiculous, I know nobody else thinks this is funny things because, I mean, we're just counting Jeep colors. But 
it was so perfectly timed. <laughs> like, I manifested a Jeep to be at my intersection when Hunter was there. I made it happen, I swear. Uh, all right, that's coming up pretty nice. Um, I'm going to end up putting, like, or probably a resin coat or at least a glaze of some sort on these eyes so the eyes will retain their shine um, in comparison to the matte of the rest of the uh, face. <clears throat> All right, we're starting to look like Yoda. Good stuff. Uh, we also have an ad roll in about three minutes, so just a heads up, peeps. So now I should probably start to get the rest of the bottom face shape here. And then I can really get working on this snout, right? And this is where it's going to start getting hard for me because this is really where the forced perspective starts coming into play. And I'm going to use some of the chalk pastels to um, do a lot of the accenting and stuff like that as we go. And probably a little acrylic paint as we're finishing up.
Oh, I was answering nature. That's awesome. You manifested a yellow jeep. Now it's truly an alien with on the top lids. Fair enough. It does look a little alien. But, I mean, I can't deny that Yoda did not look a little alien. Like, he has such bulgy eyes. I also had for one for bio break. Came back with a coffee and a stroop waffle. Oh, yummy. I am getting hungry now. Make me all hungry, fam. <laughs> Stroop waffles make me think of Strubel every time. All right, fair enough. I can see how that would be. Like, I love, I love Struble's name. Just saying it is fun. I love saying it with, um, I don't want to say a German accent because it's not, but, like, I'm going to say, like, Euro Central European accent. Like, Struble, Struble. All chihuahuas look like aliens. I'm not sorry. You're not wrong. You're not, not wrong, especially ones whose eyes are as bulgy as Yoda's was. I make you think of Struble. Okay, the names are closed. Right. Yes. Mind you, locks in the land of Stroop Waffles. Ooh, just saying. You lucky, lucky lock. Drops by night, but all right. I feel like something is not quite right about this chin, but I'll get it there. I think I might need to do a little refining on that yet, but it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> Look at my fancy sword, bitches! Welcome on in, Kim! Welcome on, Gian. Please feel free to have fun playing with <laughs> commands unto your heart's content. Oh, shit, Kim's here. Kim is here. 
How are you doing today, Kim? I'm glad to hear. Pointy stick is pointy. Pointy stick is pointy. Look at all the swords. <laughs> but Kim, do not shout yourself out. That's weird. No. Kim, please shout yourself out. <laughs> How often does this happen? All of my mods are here at once. Kim missed Locke's amazing joke. <laughs> Turn up sooner, dang it, Kim. <laughs> Show yourself out. Shout yourself out. Yes. Yesterday was new computer day. Oh, that's exciting. I know I have no idea how to wield this thing. That's okay. That's okay. Well, you kind of have an idea. You wield your own sword on your own channel. Alright, I think I need uh, something like this, yeah. But I do it poorly there. Yeah, I don't, I honestly, I don't do a great job either. That's why I needed to get mods. I'm always forgetting to do shout outs and stuff and like drop commands. I'll like go yammering on about um, like the CCGSD and totally forget to drop commands for that. Um, which, look at me, I'm gonna do that now. Well, no, I can't type. I'm not gonna drop commands. There we go. <laughs> Someday I'll get better at doing those kinds of things. Oh, I've got to remember to... Create a command so that mods can run the slideshow for me. I think I can do that. There is a mod view, it should look different. Yes, there is a mod view. Yeah, there is definitely a mod view. Um, I, I, I always have one open for myself in mod view. And I looked at Kim's, and I don't know if it was weird. How do I see mod view? When you're at the bottom of your chat settings, there should be like a button that says to change to mod view. <laughs> Easy to imagine that, no. Do we have any nice plans this weekend, anyone? What are we all doing for funsies this weekend? I'm making more Kinsember things. Ooh, funzy. Click the Zord Barton. The Zord. <laughs> oh my god, sometimes it takes me a second to understand you, Locke. I love you, but oh my god. <laughs> it's so much stuff and so confusing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I definitely get confused. I have taken, like, certain things out and added certain things in. And some of it I don't even use, but it's there. All, ooh, tacos for lunch. Oh, that's good. Tacos for lunch and dinner. It's raining tacos out of the sky. Tacos. Don't even ask why. Lock our confused. Yay, maybe Christmas parade. Ooh, maybe a vendor fair and definitely matching Christmas hoodies. Oh, fun. Fun. I'm hoping to get out and do a little bit of Christmas shopping with Little Hunter tomorrow. Providing the weather isn't too bad. Getting them to leave the house is hard enough as it is, let alone when the weather is bad. 
And then Sunday, I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Sunday is when we get to go, the local zoo we have here, um, it's affectionately referred to as zoos, but it's Safari Niagara. They do an annual drive through light show. They started in 2020 um, for COVID. And it they've continued to do it because it had such positive reviews. And it is now, like, the thing I look forward to most every Christmas. Um, and they do, like, all the Christmas lights all through the zoo. And so sometimes the animals are out and you get to see them with the lights. Like, the reindeer are almost always out in their paddock when we go um and do the the drive through and it's just it's always so pretty <clears throat> i'll uh, post photos this year after we do it um in uh discord and we'll like get hot chocolate and, and we'll just go for and like cookies and stuff like that and have like christmas snacks in the car and like go for our drive and just watch the lights and it is just so fun and it's like my favorite Christmas activity to do. When I was a kid, we always would go um, drive around uh, downtown Niagara Falls. And I say downtown Niagara Falls cheekily because really it's the tourist district, but that's what most of us refer to as downtown Niagara Falls. Because downtown Niagara Falls was actually very sketchy. So <laughs> we tended to refer to the, um, the tourist district as downtown Niagara Falls. Um... And they're always so nicely lit up, and that would be my favorite thing to do as a kid, is we would go drive and see all the light displays. And then go and drive out into Niagara on the lake and see all the really big, like, um, wartime, all the big houses and all the wartime houses in Niagara on the lake and stuff like that, and how they decorate, because they usually go all out too. So I'm really looking forward to that, where we get to go out and do our our drive this weekend. I just have mod buttons activated on regular chat when I'm on PC. That's fair. You don't necessarily need to be in mod view. I mean, you can do all of the things that you need to do, dropping commands, um, banning someone if you need to, like or like um, timing them out. You can do all of that from regular view. I think it's just a little bit easier in mod view. <clears throat> I want to go to the zoo. Nice, yeah, and it's it's always it's always a good time when we go. We very much enjoy this zoo a lot. We've been there many many times. I mean, it's like a twenty minute drive from our house, so I mean, it's it's not bad for a small local zoo. The traditional meal of the. Oh, I, mu I must have moved. Kim Sember and tacos, um, those are not one and the same. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the preparers at the tax office just got mail from a competitor for a job. Oh, yeah, that's funny. I've, I've gotten things like that before, too. Refuses to take chat more into the gutter it is going to be good for once. Yes, please. This is APG 13. I do have, well, actually, I guess today it's okay. I do have the, um the warning on today because I wasn't sure if I was going to need to medicate extra today. <clears throat> I uh, was having some fibroid pain this morning and I wasn't sure if the ibuprofen was going to do enough for it or not. So I'm like, all right, I will throw on the uh, substance warning just in case I end up needing to medicate again today. Honestly, I could tell you the last time we had tacos. We had tacos last Tuesday. Little Hunter was very excited that not only do we have tacos, but we had Taco Tuesday. Don't worry, Locke's here. Might yet need the substance help to save her. <laughs> no, I'm okay, Locke. I promise you, I am fine. <laughs> well, get it together, Locke. <laughs> get it together. 
Everybody needs tacos in their lives, right? That's not necessarily true. Everybody does not need tacos in their life, but life is better with tacos. Um, thankfully, tacos are one of the things that I can eat with dairy alternative stuff that tastes good still. Because, like, the dairy alternative cheese is not super great. Um, it's all right, but it's not, like, super great. It does not taste the same in a lot of things. But it's still pretty satisfying in, um, tacos. Um, as well as the lactose-free sour cream is still pretty satisfying. I can't have a lot of the lactose-free stuff because it's there's still something in the dairy that bugs me, but not anywhere near as much as long as it's lactose free so thankfully tacos are still very tasty despite having to be dairy free is this yoda dog belong to someone who is here right now this what oh my goodness i didn't even realize that we'd missed wander time who, okay, everyone, there is clearly a sticker giveaway <laughs> in Art and Jess channel. If you're not already in there, go enter in chat. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Cool beans. Um, Yoda is actually my, uh, was my dad's dog. Yoda passed away earlier this year. Um, and Yoda was my dad's little buddy, and he's still very uh he's still very up hurt about it and very sad about it so um i'm making him a um christmas ornament of yoda for christmas or at least i'm trying to i'm trying really hard to make this look as accurate to my dad's dog as possible it's definitely a feat for me but i'm working hard on it Thank you very much for letting us know about the sticker. <laughs> I like totally didn't even notice. All right. All right. Back to my own stream. <laughs> okay. That is the correct use of attention, please. It's the main reason why that command exists there. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So I think, I feel like I need to snout further just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see if this is a good idea or a big, big mistake. Let's try. definitely feel like I needed this extra volume, so this is good. I'm gonna have to flatten it at the front a little still, but it was the right call at least to add it. where the nose will go.
By the way, Kim, you've totally gotten into my head. Every time I, like, in my head want to go dang it, I now say dang it, Bobby. You're taking up space in my head rent-free. And I'm okay with that. Just made Mrs. Locke read his bad DC Comics joke. Did she groan like the rest of us? Alright, let's try to do this nose. So I need like a rose pink almost. I might have something like that blended. <clears throat> She's actually said, oh my god, Jeebus Christ. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So there's some pink. Yeah, I don't have anything very rose-like right now. So let's try and first take this pink and blend in our Yoda tone. So this definitely needs a darker hue to it. So I'm gonna uh, mix in some of the darker brown, just a wee bit. Locke's oldest friend is also into really bad wordplay puns and have tagged them in Discord with it. I can't wait till they get to read it. Oh, that is awesome. I love it when we, like, get to share things like that with our friends. That's amazing. It was my turn at work, looking less Rocco every minute. Yes! It is looking less Rocco every minute. I agree. It does still look a little Rocco-like, but... We might need to put some of the more vibrant pink into this. And then more brown. <clears throat> the ears, well, yeah, the ears will definitely help. The ears will probably go on more or less last, though, just because I really don't want to worry about, um... Um, miss messing them up as I'm working on something else. Um, yes, you did miss where I said clay press earlier today. Yes. Um, Locks mate did that charity stream last week and he saw it almost instantly. Said it was terrible and should be ashamed, but he still laughed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man, learn to cheat. Tight. Yes. That's pretty close. There is another giveaway in Brenda's chat for Craig Miss Socks. If you're not already there, please go enter in the chat. I recently won a pair of Craig Miss Socks. I think I won the green ones, not the red ones. I can't remember, but the red ones on there. Going now, yes, please, to win the socks. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I won the socks yesterday. I haven't physically received them yet, but I did win them. Never too many socks. This is true. This is true. But I did win socks, so I'm going to be... I'm going to stay out of this one. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good color. All right, I think I'm gonna work with this one. You could enter and mail them to me. <laughs> the funny thing is, is I have done that before. Um, I gifted in Struble's chat one day. Um, I gifted one of their stickers, and it was there were there was like a like 10, 12 people in the chat, but only two people entered, and it was just Deb who entered at first, so I'm like, alright, fine, I'll enter my own, why not? And then I won my own redeem, and then, or my own gift, so I just mailed it to Deb. <laughs> so Deb got it anyways. <laughs> yes, turtle won. Alright, let's, let's make a teeny tiny nose. Let's make teeny tiny nose. Okay, guys, I uh, need a quick bio break. I've had a lot of tea this morning, um, and vibrate pain makes me have to go more. I will be right back. I'm back. All right. Um, I will probably add the whiskers, but I'm not 100% sure how yet. They will probably have to be added after the fact. And I would probably have to do them in, like, almost like a fishing line kind of thing. I don't know. I haven't decided totally for sure whether or not that I'm going to do that. But you can't do them in clay. They're too thin and wispy to do them in clay. So, all right. Totally not the right shape yet. We're gonna fix that, I promise. Also a little bit small. I think it needs to be slightly larger. Ooh, good land, Nightbot. Every time Nightbot has a good good land, I feel like obligated to do my own drop and try to catch up or something. <laughs>
Okay, I love fourth wall and merch, but damn, Amazon Prime has tricked me into thinking shipping would be less. It's true. Oh my gosh. The... I think fourth wall shipping is particularly expensive. Um, like it is, it's, it's rough. nose right now. Let's keep trying to fix it. I can get, purely get my own samples. The shipping is so astronomical. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It It's ridiculous. Kiki, you're so good at this. Hot Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. I'm really nervous about doing this particular piece because clearly it's very important to me being a gift for my dad of his late dog. Um, <laughs> and I'm really terrified that I'm not going to be able to do it the justice it deserves. Because Yoda was such a sweet dog. He really was. Another friend has seen the joke too, not the one I tagged though, but his reply was two gifts, one reading Knights of Columbus, that hurt, and then him saying, fucking hell, Locke, you're, uh, you've upped your game, and then the second gift saying, actually, I'm not even mad, that's amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. That is fantastic. I like it. I am glad you are bringing joy to your friends with your horrible, horrible jokes. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's try and get this nose better. It's a gift. <laughs> it sure is. You keep us heartily amused, friend. Mm, I think 
this needs to be a little lower down. Right? Like, because this is... Okay. 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 Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It needs a little bit more volume of nose. It does. Okay. I can do this. And Locke intends to inflict it on as many people as possible. That is how you should spend your gifts. You need to share them with the world. Maybe just a teeny bit more. Having a gift for with a friend at work. We can't find anything for turd or poop, but we did find brownie batter being slopped into a pan. <laughs> I'm surprised that there aren't more. Is it just like work acceptable ones? And that's why there's no poop? Because there are most definitely poop gifts all over the place. Is your work censoring poop? Does your work censor poop gifts? Is <laughs> What a, what a statement to ask, right? What a question. This is not blending well. Where is... This tool. This is the tool I want. Slopping brownie, yes, it's safe for work filtered. Fair enough, I guess that makes sense. Slopping brownie batter into a pan, no, that's the shit. It does, but we're able to, yes, right? But that's that almost makes it even more fun, right? Like, it's like, how do we say this without saying this? Much like, you know, with my butt emote in antiquing. <laughs> Which I am still heartily amused by. I think that that's mostly the right shape for the nose. It'll look a little better once I get all the... You gave him a Kim a sword? I did give Kim a sword. Kim and I were having fun in Kim's channel where I, I proposed that we should... Uh... Kim was giving me the most glowing shout-out ever. <laughs> um... <coughs> and uh, so I'm like... And she was saying how you know warm it is, and I was always joking, like, well how opposite we were and we needed to bring a little bit of warmth and snark to each other's channels <laughs> so we modded each other 
<laughs> I'm fair and powerful. <laughs> yes. We all need more sass and fun. <laughs> also, welcome on in, cause it's good to see you. Oh, I see God Kim is already being sassful. What did I miss? Hold on, hold on. You guess I did give Kim a sword. <laughs> I love that Kim is already ab abusing it and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's okay, cause I don't know what I'm doing. That's about good. Yep, yep. A little softer, but it's the right thing that's happening here. That's not working. That's not working. I need... Ooh, yes. That's what I need. do know how to delete him. I think I'll put a mod boot camp on my Patreon. Oh, that would be beautiful. I would love that kind of thing, and then you'll be unstoppable. I would love to, like, pick the brain of mods of big channels just to see how it goes, and to uh, know that I could make my stream better by understanding how mods for big channels work. Oh, fine, I'll sign up. <laughs> I am unstoppable. And also, <laughs> yes, exclamation. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much. I did it, I'm geese. <laughs> Genius. Yes. <laughs> we couldn't even fix, do our wrong one right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, all right. Let's let's try and get some more work on this nose done. I need, I need, yes, I need these. Okay. We need some great big Yoda nostrils, right? And it's like that. Yeah, 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 uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I will make this deeper once I get the shape right. Probably actually need to remove a little bit of clay just to get it to work right, but... Brain in a bathtub is super cute.
Dog noses are pretty hard to sculpt, not to lie. tell you you would probably love this you want to know what i watched last night zoom in oh what are we what are we zooming about um you know the brain that makes me want to take an actual bath i totally just like broke my tool again um i watched with with hunter we watched the um i think it was on amazon prime is that where it was yes it was on amazon prime um a documentary on the wiggles it was actually really good. <laughs> and it was quite interesting because it was like the background history of how they got started and how they transitioned into the new Wiggles and then the even newest Wiggles, which I didn't even know existed. <laughs> it was good. I want to see the nose zoomed in. Okay, hold on. Nose. It's pretty close, but it's not quite there. The Wiggles? You can't tell me you don't know who the Wiggles are. I mean, you are from Australia. <laughs> yes, the Wiggles. <laughs> yes, yes, them. Okay, I don't know really if the kids like the Wiggles. If I'm ready for well, that's okay. You don't have to like them. I don't know if your kids were in, didn't know if the kids were into the Wiggles or not. Little Hunter was really into the Wiggles, so there. What was it? The cockroaches? The kids are not, and neither was I. Thank God. I was did not was not into the Wiggles when I was a kid. Um, they were still largely in Australia at the time when I was a kid. Um, but Little Hunter was really into them because the Ready Steady Wiggle was a big show that we watched a lot when they were little. We've avoided Blippi so far. Yeah, we avoided Blippi, thankfully. Blippi didn't really become super big until after Little Hunter was out of, like, young children's programming. Fun fact, post-Wiggles, they performed still as the cockroaches, but the crowd chanted for so long and so loud that they had to do Hot Potato and some others live in concert. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, they were apparently in, like... Last year, maybe the year before, I guess there is some, like, um, Australian top rock chart contest that they do, like, every year, and they were getting, they could convince the Wiggles to come in, and it's like this whole thing where you do a song not in your genre, so, like, the Wiggles essentially did like a rock song but they sang the lyrics to hot potato to it and out of like the top 100 of this contest they won it like <laughs> out of everybody <laughs> like it's hilarious that how much of a cultural phenomenon the wiggles is <laughs>
feel like that line might go up a little too. No, no, it goes to where it should. Might even need to go up a teeny bit farther. There's only one original member of the original Wiggles still performing, and that's Anthony. And his daughter is now actually one of the Wiggles. <clears throat> I have Brenda on my other mobile actually missing her doing I do, I miss Brenda doing art. I mean, she never got a lot of art done, but I do miss the art as well. Um, take note, everyone, no matter how many times your rock band career fails, you can always fall back on being a global sensation doing songs for children. The funny thing is, is they were do they were always successful. They were doing well as their rock band. They were well known. But they were childhood educators and they wanted to do the Wiggles. <laughs> Two of them were either already educators or were like in school to be educators. One of them actually dropped out of school to become an educator to do the Wiggles full time. They're generally just people passionate about being like educating children. Pretty good so far. I feel like we've made really good progress at getting this to actually look like yoga Yoda. Oh crud, got a gaming session starting in a few minutes. No mo no problem, Locke. Thanks for hanging out. We're almost done today anyhow, so Merc of War time! Please enjoy. Have fun. I will. I will. I'm starting to do my like lurk around to see who's who's online. I'm just trying to just lurking around right now to see if there's anybody new. Everybody who's online that I follow right now, I've raided in the last couple of weeks. I try to spread it around and not raid the same people too often. I feel like it's not fun for anybody if you raid the same people too often. I mean, I don't care. People can raid me whenever they want. Everybody can raid me whenever, every stream, if they wanted to, and I'd be okay with that. But I feel like other people don't look at that the same way I do. found another small polymer clay artist. I think that the, oh, I think that's where we're going to go in a little bit. Okay, cool beans. <coughs> Have a fun weekend all. Okay. All right. 
So let's, I was gonna try and do like some of the wrinkles in the eye space. looking pretty good. <clears throat> I feel like the other side doesn't quite have the same eye folds, but I also feel like it'll look weird if I don't put one on it, so... I'm in an ad and I didn't even notice, of course. Just the teeniest, teeniest bit. Mm -hmm. 
here to do like the crease of the lid. do just a teeny bit right here on the top of the nose to give it that little bit of a heart shape and then we're going to raid out because it is after one and I still have an afternoon shift to go to tools out I can't find the one I need Excellent start to uh, this pet portrait. I'm really happy about it. I uh, just got a package, uh, hoping it's Hubby's Christmas Present Scott Vil vers Scott Pilgrim vs. the World graphic novel. Awesome! I actually got that for Hunter several years ago. <laughs> the, the graphic novel series. The box set was uh, one of Hunter's presents that I got him years ago. Alright. We are... gonna put some of these tools away Excellent at this point. Okay. Okay. What we got here? Okay. Yeah, I think we did an excellent start to this project here. Okay. No, that's not what I need. That's what I need to 
Okay. All right. So we are going to. Sorry, let me check one thing. We are gonna raid. So we are gonna. First one for everyone. Second for those with subs. And because I know some people got left behind last time, I'm gonna put the link here. Shh, don't spoil the raid. And we are going to go and raid Chronically crafty. Looks like they're a relatively new polymer clay. It doesn't look like they've even got their um, affiliate. So we are going to go and show some love to new streamers. All right. We will be back on Monday um, at 10 a.m. We're going to be working on Eevee. And then to Wednesday, we'll be back. We're going to keep working on Yoda. I'll probably do a little work on Yoda offline, but that's going to be primarily what we're doing. Um, and then we'll be back. All right, so we are going to go. We're going to go say hi to a new friend. And uh, we're going to have a great day. And uh, I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend. Take care, everybody. We will definitely see you guys all again really soon. Be well. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, where's my thing? I'm bad at this. I'm bad at this. I was totally not prepared today. Where's my ending screen? There it is. Bye!